Today, five things you need to know about the 2021 Audi e-tron GT. My friends over at carbuzz.com says Audi's all-electric touring sedan looks like it'll match the hype. A link in the description below. Let's get started. This upcoming Audi e-tron GT promises to be a bold four-door all-electric touring sedan with a strong development link to the high-performance Porsche Taycan. And get this, Audi is capping its power from the dual motor setup to 590 horsepower. That's the cap, a shade under the Taycan's base model and over 100 horsepower less than the Taycan's top trim. Now that doesn't mean the e-tron GT won't get more faster versions later on, but it's unlikely it'll ever be outright faster than the Taycan. Only two electric motors are being used, but Audi does love its Quattro all-wheel drive system, so the GT will be able to control power to individual wheels for improved traction and handling. Audi claims the e-tron GT will clip 60 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds and hit 124 miles per hour in just over 12 seconds. The second thing you need to know is battery technology. Storing the electricity for the drivetrain should be the same 90 kilowatt capacity battery the Taycan uses, and the 800 volt system will allow charging at 350 kilowatts. Because the e-tron GT is a performance car, Audi is using cutting edge cooling technology to keep the battery temperature down when the driver wants to push the limits. When it comes time to charge it, owners can plug the e-tron into a charger like any other EV, but Audi wireless charging will be available for contactless battery top up. Audi is hazy on wireless charging times, but using a cord and charging at 350 kilowatts, 80% of the battery should be ready to go in about 20 minutes. Number three, range and economy. According to Audi, it'll have a range over 248 miles. What that might be in a real world, we're not sure. If that 248 miles turns out to be accurate, there's plenty for the average driver and if they have access to the optional charging ports, plugging in for 20 minutes or so twice a week shouldn't be a big deal. Audi specifically mentions the expanding Electrify America network and that the company installed its first 350 kilowatt charger before there was a car available on the market that could actually use it and it's expanding its network fast. The fourth thing, infotainment and connectivity. Audi has been doing a great job of pushing infotainment forward with its multimedia information touch response system and digital dashboard. Carbuzz.com expects the e-tron GT to leverage that and have a touchscreen heavy infotainment system. The concept shows a single screen in the center of the dashboard. However, the e-tron SUV and Audi's flagship A8 sedan feature a dual screen setup featuring a 10.1 inch display on top and an 8.8 inch unit below. As the e-tron GT is a flagship for Audi's EV range, CarBuzz.com also expects Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, wireless charging, and wireless connectivity to be baked in along with a full suite of driver assistance technology. The fifth and final thing about this vehicle, it should be debuting at the LA Auto Show, fingers crossed. It goes in production in 2020, that's this year, and on sale next year. The official unveiling is expected to be toward the end of this year, most likely for the LA Auto Show in November, assuming we don't have any health issues to deal with. The plan B, as other manufacturers have exercised, is a live streaming event across the internet. Regardless of how things play out, it's expected to reach dealership showrooms in early 2021. To see more and read more, check out the link in the description below. Thanks to my friends over at carbuzz.com. Until next time, I'm Dave Erickson with Everyman Driver. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Adios. One more thing before you go. I've added links to some of the best-selling automotive accessories on Amazon right now, along with links to some of my product reviews. You'll find it in the description below this video.